close your eyes and imagine. Beautiful places can be healing places. Places where hurting people can come alone and try and put themselves together. It's as if the place knows and can offer peace and, and something more. Does anyone have a private place of their own? I have. Yes, what's your name? I'm Louise. And what's your favorite place, Louise? Well, it's sort of an old deserted mine, but I love it. That puts me in mind of a story. It's a really good story. And it's all about a young lady about your age, and her name is Louise. that are just impossible to explain. There are some connections that are made that are, they just defy logic. And some might even teach us something about ourselves and about how to live our lives. What is about to happen to Louise may be one or another of these. You have to make up your own mind. Who knows how Louise will feel or how you would feel if Charlie came into your life Out running. You said you'd help me unpack. Sorry, Mom, I forgot. I just wanted to run. I'll do it now. You go make coffee and I'll do this lot. You don't have time. Your father's coming over. Mom, I don't want to see him. Lou, I'm sorry. The court says he has access. <laughs> Why can't he just leave us alone? He's the one who abandoned us. Lou, it's no use being angry at me. Well, I'm not angry at you, Mom. I'm raging mad at him. If he cared, he wouldn't have gone off with that woman. It's not that simple. It is to me. Mrs. Parker came over just after you left. From next door, she came to ask me over for coffee. She offered to give me a hand. You see, Lou, you just have to give people a chance. Why? Oh, please, Lou. Her husband works at the cannery. I'm going down there this morning to see if I can get work. That way I won't have to talk to your father. You better get ready, hon. Well, you can make me see him, but you can't make me talk to him. It's not easy to forgive someone who hurts you, and if that someone is as precious as your father, well, it's as hard to forgive as it is to say sorry. And if the person you love so much seems to abandon you, then what can you do that might begin to help? You want to kick and shout and get your own back, but it never helps. It's sad to say, but it never, ever helps. Hi, Lou. You ready? <laughs> no. Why bring her, Dad? I thought it was about time you two got to know each other, okay? No, it's not. The court said you had access. Mary is going to be around, Louise. I just want people to be friends, is all. Mom's not even settled in yet, and you drive around with that. I didn't think exactly. it. Exactly. OK, I'm bringing Minty. 
Mary doesn't like dogs. Dad, Minty's been around a long time. A lot longer than her. She'll have to get used to it. Come on, Minty, come on. Huh? Uh, Minty, come on, Minty. Play through it a bit more, okay? Yeah. Number two. And yeah, okay, Lou, move your feet. Move your feet. Move to the ball. Okay, this one has my name on it. Great shot, Lou. <laughs> Very good. Hi. Are you a member here? No, I'm just visiting. I'm Pat. This is Anna. I'm Louise. You've just moved here, right? Yeah, that's right. There's a barbie tonight, if you wanted to meet a few people. Oh, I'm kind of busy. Hey, kids, you want a soda? Dad, leave it. Don't worry. Another time. Come on, you guys. Nice kids. What did you say? Dad, don't start. Get it from Mom. Make new friends, talk to people. Oh, that. Your friend must be getting thirsty. You're giving him a hard time. Am I? I don't like him hurting. And he is hurting. And I'm not? And my mother isn't? Oh, come on. It's over six months. It was 17 years. So don't ask me to be nice, because I don't feel nice. My mother went out today, not just to give him and you a miss, but to get work. We're going to be together, your father and I, Lou. We've got to talk. Talk? My father won't talk. He just expects me to smile and forget it. Forget us. Come on, Minty, let's go. <laughs> Tell him thanks and goodbye. So, how was it? Don't ask me. I sounded off at her. I meant to get him, but uh, she got it instead. <laughs> he just can't face things. He never has. It was the same when he went off before. Before? When? When you were a baby. I don't want to talk about it. Hold on, Mum. Tell me about it. <sighs> There's nothing to tell. He just can't help himself. Only this time, I'm not having him back. He just doesn't think. That's what hurts. Come on, hon. Come on. He loves you, you know. No, he doesn't, Mom. He just goes on about making friends, joining clubs, and the school track team. I hate him, Mom. I hate him. What's he doing here on what Louise regards as her track, her bit of the forest? And if he has to run down to the dangerous mines, is he trying to lead her there too? Into danger? Hey, you. What's your name? None of your business. We're making it our business. <laughs> Grow up. Hey, I called for you this morning. I thought you might be a bit, you know. Anna, get lost. Did someone speak? <laughs> Brenda, you're seriously stupid. Just leave people alone. I can fight my own corner. And you, 
Just stay off my case, okay? <laughs> right, Louise. That's how you want it. How to make friends and influence people. How to cut off your nose to spite your face. But I guess when people are hurting, they just don't know what to do. They flail about, hurting other people by refusing help and kindness. Louise is like that. Louise Adams. Miss Yates. Is it Louise or Lou? Louise. Right. OK. Well, we're working on a very large project on the local area. Maybe you'd like to join one of the groups? Um, I'd rather do something of my own. I thought it would be easier to work with someone who already knows the area. No, I'll be all right. <laughs> OK. I'll take a seat over there. chosen a subject to research yet? Yeah, the old mine. I run through it most mornings. The old mine? You really mustn't go up there, Louise. It's very dangerous. I like running on my own. It helps me. Helps you? Helps you with what, Louise? I'd like to do the mine. No one else's. OK, that's fine. But just don't go up there anymore. There are still old lift shafts that haven't been properly enclosed. You stick to the library. Can I go now? We're supposed to be at the track. You're wasting your time, kid. Were you even lying to us then? Hello? Hi, Mom. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I was just thinking of going for a run. Yeah, I'll take Minty. Yeah, we'll get some photos for the project. OK. See you then. Bye-bye. watching me in the library. I don't like having cameras shoved up my nose. I didn't shove anything up your nose. You ran in front of me. Does anyone know you're here? It's dangerous. Really dangerous. I run where I like. You want to fall down a pit shaft? 
You just want this place to yourself. Well, forget it. I run where I like, and if you don't like it, tough. Suit yourself. Hey, I hadn't finished. You never answered my question. Why are you following me around? Photographs are strange things. They can freeze a moment in time. But is that moment real? Or is there a secret behind the image, the frozen smiles? With some photographs, it's what isn't there that tells so much. What's missing? Are you sure there's not another one? There must be one somewhere in the machine or something. No, <laughs> are you sure? He's wrong, Mince. He is wrong. There's one missing. I know there is. These are good, Lou. They're very good. There's one missing. There was a boy in one of the shots. A boy? He ran past as I pressed the shutter. He seemed angry, warned me off. Why? He said it was dangerous. Is it? Mom, I'm not a fool. I know how to take care of myself. But where's the picture? Perhaps you missed him. Only takes a second. I know I took a picture of him. So it must be missing. Did you check the negatives? There was nothing there. But I know I took a picture of him. Weird. Do you know who he is? No. I've been hanging around watching me. <laughs> In your dreams? Oh. I see you didn't take my advice. Well, anyway, it'll be a good reference for the written work. I had a thought about that. Do you know the Cranford Chronicle? Yeah, I've seen the officers. Asked to see the morgue. The morgue? It's where they keep all the old back issues and photographs and historical stuff. <laughs> Man, it's hard. She's refusing to socialize. It's not like the girls are being unfriendly. I'm sure. She seems to have lost her confidence with other people. She mentioned a boy in a photograph. She said he warned her off the mountain, seemed angry. There isn't anyone who... No one knows who he is from the description. She had an imaginary friend when she was a child. Is it a way of getting attention? I don't know. I can't spend as much time with her as I'd like. I have to work. We'll both keep an eye. Maybe if she needs counseling... Counseling? Can... She just needs to get her confidence back, that's all. How long since your husband left? Not long enough. I've been there, Mrs. Adams. It's lonely and hard. We'll both keep an eye. Is this the morgue? Not for very much longer. We are clean out of business. Shut. Closed. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here. I know you. I saw you running the other morning up in the mines. You're a natural talent. It's tough running in those mines. It's peaceful. Hmm. Makes running on the track a little easy, huh? I don't run track. Why not? I'm the coach, Mike Horn, and I would like you very much in the school squad. I don't want to be on any squad. That's a shame. Sorry, Mr. Horn. All right, young lady, you'd better tell me why you came here and make it quick, because this is not going to be the morgue for too much longer. New management, you see. They say... Get rid of all this junk. Just dump it. I say, this is not junk. This is history. The man says, there is no money in history. We need the space for new technology. They're throwing all this away? 
back to 1862. A little gold rush, depression, the war, all just junk. And you, Mr. Horn, you just find yourself a new job, he says. Oh, sure, I'll just find myself a new job. I'm a 62-year-old cripple. Huh. We all got our problems, I guess. What happened to your leg? An accident. You take care running up in those mines. They can be dangerous. That's what he said. <laughs> Who? There's a boy who runs up there. He was mad at me for being in his space, I guess. I'd be the same, maybe. Yeah? Never seen him in town. Not a boyfriend or anything. I'm not into that. Tell me about him, Louise. I keep seeing him around. I think he's following me. Can you describe him for me? He's tall, fairish brown hair, blue eyes. That's it, really, all I remember. He seemed a little nervous, like he was lonely or something. Did he look anything like this guy? Yes, that's him. Turn the picture over, Lou. Louise left Mike amongst the debris of a lifetime's work in the newspaper library and tried to put it all out of her mind. What could she ask the boy when she saw him next? If she went looking, of course. But then girls are notoriously inquisitive. Questioning, perhaps, is the word. And brave. 40 years ago. Minty! Minty! Hold on, Minty, I'm coming. Get the other end, help. Just slide it over. On the ledge, slide it quickly. Hey, That's hey, it. Just hold on. On the ledge, on the ledge. Kimmy, come. Minty, come here. Minty, come on. Bad dog. He's okay. What about you? What is it, wrist? Oh, I think it's sprained. It hurts. Can you walk okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't think so. Come with me. No, keep it in. I know it's cold. It'll keep the swelling down. That's it. I did warn you. You don't have to treat me like a baby, okay? Let me bite my head off. I'm trying to help you. Everyone tries to help me. I can help myself. Thanks very much. I'm fine. Okay, you can go. Suit yourself. Here, you might as well have this. I brought it for you. It's okay. Here, I'm going. Take it. It's what they all search for in these workings. Don't kid on. It's cold. I don't believe you. It's gold. Ask around. Well, suit yourself, you will anyway, so... I really wanted to talk. I thought you wanted to know about these old mines. I can tell you. Still, suit yourself. I'm sorry, if you want to talk. <laughs> He's afraid of me, I think. No need, Louise. None. Come on, I'll show you. This is where they pile up the ore. It goes out the conveyor, ready for the crashing. I know, I know. And that's where they washed out the tailings, right? And then the gold is ready to be refined at the plant. Right. Who told you? Mike Horn. Oh, Mike. How is he? Nice guy. Brave guy. You know him? Sort of. You ask him about that gold. You saved Minty's life. I don't even know your name. Charlie. Charlie. Why do you come up here? Tell me about you. What about me? Who you are, where you're from, what you think, anything. I live over the valley in Alphabet, in the hills. 
Pop like the space. Said you could breathe. You working? You wanted me to go to college. I guess I may do. I mean, I might one day. I don't know. You could visit with me and Mom. Don't like Cranford. Not much. Nah. I'm sorry about that. I'd like you to meet my mom. I don't think so. Not just now, anyway. It's strange how you know when you can totally trust someone. Love kicks in then, I guess, and the world gets to be brighter for a time. It did for Louise. For the first time, she could tell someone she cared for what had happened to her. Charlie is happy now. He's got what he wanted, and even Minty has begun to trust him at last. A girl? No. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Well, I might have, I suppose. It depends. On what? You. Pretty bird. We could go way up if you wanted. Up a logging track to a valley I know. There's a river in the forest. We could catch trout and cook them and... Would you like that? Saturday? Okay. What did I tell you about going up there? I told you he was dangerous. He's not. He's not. He saved Minty's life. If it wasn't for him, I'd have more than a sore wrist. He made me put it in cold water to take the swelling down. It was so cold. Does it hurt? No, it's not broken or anything. Oh, Lou. Mom, you don't understand. Charlie's nice. He gave me something. What? What did he give you? He told me it was gold. I didn't believe him. I should think not. He's a line shooter, Lou. Trouble. <sighs> he told me to show it to Mike Horan. He said Mike knows the mountains. He prospects up there some weekends. He said Mike will tell me it's gold. It's a line, Lou. You're young. You don't know about these things. Not every man's like Dad, Mom. He's nice. I want you to stay away from him. You shouldn't be messing around near those old mines anyway. Lou, promise me. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. Don't you, Miss High and Mighty? Well, we saw your pa and his tart around town. What did I do to you? Just leave me alone. At least he's got someone. You haven't. No friends. Nothing. What's wrong with you? Who do you think you are? Look at me when I talk to you. I have got someone. Boom. You haven't got anyone. I have. I have. Who is it then? That kid in the photo who wasn't there? No one you know. He's not from Cranford. Liar. No one would look at you, Louise Adams. The horizontal axis on the graph is the line that runs across the graph. This line may also have a scale on it. The horizontal axis on the graph may be either at the top or the bottom of the graph. Louise, are you with us or the birds? Louise! told you true. That is gold, all right. Did he tell you where he found it? Sorry, no. Thanks, Mike. See ya. She just walked out. I really think it's time we thought about getting counseling for her. I don't want to jump the gun. She's refusing to make friends. She's fantasizing about this boy. She's hurting. I thought the move would help. I'm just not sure that counseling is the right thing for Lou. Maybe just what she needs. Lou? 
I'm sorry I walked out. It all just got too much. But I'm not going to see any counselor. If you won't talk, no one can help. No way, Mom. I'm not going. OK. No one's going to make you go, honey. We're worried about you, Louise. You're finding it hard to make friends. I already have friends. Lou, we both know that isn't true. There were several children who were anxious to be a friend. You turned them away. And you turned out a chance to be on the athletic squad as well. Mr. Horan told me he wanted you. I have a friend. We run together. He gave me some gold. Lou, stop romancing. Mike Horn said it's gold, just like Charlie said he would. I made us both a hot drink. <sighs> Mrs. Yates was only trying to help. No one believes me, do they? I've just found someone I can talk to. Someone who doesn't judge me. And now you all just rubbish it. How do you think I feel? We're worried about you. No, you're not. You're worried about yourselves. You, Dad, Mrs. Yates. All of you. That's not fair, Lou. It's not fair. I'm worried about you. I love you. I'm sorry. But if only someone would believe me instead of calling me a liar all the time. Do you want to tell me about him? If you want me to. I do. Tell me. What's he like, this... What's his name? Charlie. He's great, Mum. He likes to run like me. He's quiet and kind. And kind of old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? You know, polite, considerate. Not like all the other boys at school. I like him, Mom. He asked me out Saturday. To do what? He knows a river high up we can walk to. He said we can fish and lovely things, real things. You trust him? Yes, I trust him, Mom. I do. You will, too, when you meet him. You will. I will? <laughs> Mom, if I stay home, you say I'm moping. I take no interest in dances, you say I should. I have no friends, you say I should have friends. Now I do have a friend. And I want to go out with him, Mom. Please. It's just... I don't know. I worry, I guess. Trust me, Mom. I just want to go out for the day. See the river and fish and run and... Please, Mom. It's so easy to be cynical about love and danger. And where does love happen on the map of the heart? Do we believe in it? Or do we not? Louise didn't. She felt abandoned by her father and angry with the world. How could she know about love, about seeing the world as it might be? Dad showed me when I was a kid. I've been back ever since. Did she come with you sometimes? No. He died. I'm sorry. You loved him? He was my dad. You'll see. You'll love your dad again. Give it time. My dad was special to me. My mom died soon after. You're on your own? Yeah. 
Rest up. Okay. See you soon. Yeah. Come on, what sort of time do you call this young lady? Sorry, Mum. I'll give that young man a piece of my mind. When we agree a time, we stick with the time. Sorry, Mum. Next time he brings you to the door, do you hear? What is this, Mum? Don't you trust me? Or is it him? Is that it? Oh, Lou, come on. No, you come on. You tell me. I expect a young man to bring you home. That's not unreasonable. Why won't he come to town? I don't know, do I? I don't know. But he's special, Mom. Oh. Minty likes him. Oh, come on, Mom. Don't be sad. I didn't mean to shout. I'm not sad. It's just... Well... I don't know. I'm afraid for you, I guess. Growing up. Don't be afraid for me, please. Sometimes you could come to town with me. My dad used to say never to wish time away, Louise. Never. Okay. Saturday here then? Yeah. Brenda. Anna, you had some pictures you thought would look good, didn't you? Why don't you get them? likely to succeed. Mrs. Yates, when was this picture taken? Um, 1958. Why, Louise? He looks just like my boyfriend. Oh, good-looking boy. Maybe it's his father. Ask him what his father does and we'll see if he really did succeed. Are you sure? He wasn't there. She was talking to herself. She's seriously off her head. Are you telling us she's talking to the trees? She should be in a nut house. So what do we do? We could tell Mrs. Yates. Maybe we should. You better ask her first. She might have been kidding. You do what you like. We're not having anything to do with her. She's crazy. Often we see what we want to believe. If we have bad thoughts, we see bad things around us, like Brenda and her gang do about Louise. But I guess it's hard seeing someone apparently talking to themselves not to think the worst. They're lying! They're lying! He is my boyfriend! Louise, a lot of people are worried about you. Your mother called me in a state. Your teacher thinks you need some sort of counseling. Just what is this, Louise? He's your mother. Your wife. Don't start that again. Why not? What gives you the right to tell me anything now? Ask me anything. 
So what is this about talking to the trees, then? What? You were seen, Lou. What? Talking to the trees by some mines or something. Some of your friends saw you. I'm not making this up. What's going on? How could you? Oh, Lou. Louise. Louise? Are you... Uh, are you still seeing him? I saw a picture of him, Mike, at school. It was his twin. But the picture was taken in 1958. Mrs. Yates said it was his father. You don't think so, huh? I want it to be his father. Charlie's dad was a good guy. He was killed in the war in Korea first guy from this town to die there. But if he died 40 years ago, how could it be his dad? Lou, there's something I have to show you. And uh, Charlie won't be coming by today. So come on. What happened? Gas explosion. Hell of a thing. A lot of good men died down there. They ripped the guts out of this town. That was the end of the mine. They had to shut the place down. Nobody even had the heart to go down there anymore. I'm about the only person who still goes up there to dig around a little just to remind myself of that terrible day. Tell me about Charlie. Oh, this is so hard. Nobody knew if there were any survivors still left underground, but someone had to get down there and get down there quick. They called for volunteers. Two men stepped forward. One was me, and the other was... Charlie? Charlie did his best, Lou, his very best. But... But what? What happened? Lou, you go find him. Ask him yourself. Charlie, I want to know, was it your father or your uncle I saw in that picture? You sort of lost your father, so you'll know what it means. I lost mine long ago. Missing, believed, killed, they said. My mom lived inside a bottle for a time and then died. Of the drink, they said, I save a broken heart. I was hoping to go to State University. Didn't see much point. Not much point in anything. I went to work at the mine where my father had worked. I gave up the dream that he'd have for me. I was wrong. I didn't volunteer to go down that shaft because I was brave. I volunteered because I didn't care what happened. Oh, Charlie. My dad used to say, carpe diem, seize the day. What you got is not a rehearsal, Lou. What you got is the real thing. My dad. I loved my dad, and he went away. I still loved him like you love yours. Them going away doesn't change anything, Lou, you hear? I want you to run with me, and then do one more thing for me. Will you do that? What is it? I've got no one left, no one to do. I want to be at rest, Louise, you understand? 
Will you still be here? Charlie, I don't want to be left alone. Hey, Diem Louise, you can still seize the day. I can't. I wish, I wish so much I could too, but please help me. I know it hurts, but this is not a rehearsal for you. Please help me. I don't know if I can. I have to go, Louise. I have to. Please, for my sake. Yes? Uh, hi, I'm Mike Horn. I uh, had a message. Lou said she'd be here. She's running. She said she's gone up to the mines. What's the matter? Is she all right? I don't know. I'll be back soon. He had no one left, no one to give him flowers, trapped down there. He just wanted someone. I'm all right now, Mike. Carpe diem. Carpe diem, you said? You knew, you knew him, didn't you? All I got was a couple of busted up legs down in that mine, but Charlie, he saved my life, so yeah. Yeah, I knew him. All he really needed was someone who loved him, you know? You, you just laid him to rest. Yours has gone right over the top. Carpe Dio. Seize the day. That's what Louise has learned to do. And from now on, she'll do it all the time, I'm sure. She'll never forget the lesson that Charlie taught her, that living in the past, raking over old troubles, won't help you find this gold. Because the gold you're looking for is the gold of your present and your future. Seize the day. tonight with the team. <laughs> Celebrations? Okay? <laughs> yeah, see you there. I'll be there. See ya. See ya. Bye. You did it. You did it and I told you you could do it. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> you did it. And Charlie. No rehearsals. Cup it in. Bye now. So
Close your eyes. 